Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to go over what I've watched from October the 1st through the 8th. Um, maybe this will give you some recommendations of what I've seen. I'll let you know if I liked it or not. Um, so if you want to follow along, I'll be going through my letterbox account to kind of go over these. So on October the 1st, I did watch Hocus Pocus. Um, I do usually watch this every Halloween season. I really enjoy it. It's a really good family um, Halloween movie and um, so definitely recommend you check that one out. You can check it out on Disney Plus if you have it. Um, next up I watched Hocus Pocus 2. I did um, I was kind of really excited to be able to see Hocus Pocus 2. A little bit let down with the way it turned out, but it wasn't terrible. I'm glad that I was able to watch it that one time. I do not know that I'll revisit it again, um, but definitely check out Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus if you're interested. Next up, I had a recommendation to check out the movie Martyrs. I did not have it in my collection, so I went on um, Amazon and I ordered this edition of Martyrs, which of course is the remake of it, which I did not know, but I did watch it. I enjoyed it for what it was. It wasn't terrible. I thought it was pretty interesting. But after I posted on Instagram that I watched this, Someone let me know pretty quickly that this was not the version to watch, that I should have watched the original. So I was able to find the original on Tubi. And so I watched the, um, the next day I watched the original Martyrs. I really enjoyed it. It is definitely the much better version. Um, you do have to read subtitles. It is in French, I do believe. But I really enjoyed watching it. It is available on Tubi. Um, next up, I watched um, this film that just had came out. Um, from Arrow Video, and it's Two Witches. Um, I I watched it because it was sent to me to review, and I wanted to check it out. It was pretty good. It did kind of start off slow, but the stories did get interesting. There was two parts to the movie. There's a part one and a part two. Uh, the part one was the introduction to the movie. Um, you kind of get to see a little bit of the story. And then part two had some characters from the first part in it. But overall, it was a pretty good um, movie. It is a little bit different, but I did like what I saw. Um, I would def definitely recommend you check it out if you have a chance. Next up, um, I wanted to go ahead and finish my true crime movies that I was watching. And I was focused on Jeffrey Dahmer. So I uh, finally took the time to watch my friend Dahmer, which was pretty good. I really enjoyed this one. This right here has Anne Hayes in it and um, Dallas Roberts, Alex Wolf. But anyways, it was a really good film. This right here was mostly, I guess, entirely based on Jeffrey Dahmer's um, high school years and the people that knew him from high school. It was based on a book that was written. I would, if you're interested in true crime and especially the um, Jeffrey Dahmer story, definitely check this one out if you get a chance. And then the next day, which was um, October the 7th, I did a watch along over on Luke's channel, uh, which I'll link down below. Um, but we watched Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween from 2007. We watched the theatrical cut. Which, we, which I had to watch on YouTube because I do not have the theatrical cut in my collection. Apparently it's only available in Canada and other countries, but not here in the USA. So um, I, I had a good time watching it with the guys that were um, on the stream, um, but I have not seen the Rob Zombie Halloween since it was first released back in 2007, which has been 15 years. And like I posted, I do not care to see it again for another 15 years, even if then. But it wasn't a terrible movie. It was nice to revisit it. And then lastly, um, I watched American Psycho. Um, I did another live stream, uh, which I'll link down below. But Eddie invited me over to um, watch this live. And so I did. Um, it hadn't been too long since I had seen this um, movie. I guess actually I saw it whenever I got this still book. So it was really nice to revisit it. It's a really good um, thriller movie. But anyways, it had its moments. Um, definitely check out American Psycho if you've never seen it. I would highly recommend it. You know, the performances, the music, um, the cinematography, the voiceover, all of it was really good. So I had a really good first week of October. Um, please, leave me some, some, please leave me some suggestions of some films that you think I should check out during the month of October. 
Um, I do have some things planned out throughout the month, um, but I definitely enjoy um, your recommendations and really appreciate them. If you like what you saw here today, please give me a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.